a scam! It's all right, sir. <laughs> it's anything, Doctor. Get off my bridge, you snotty nose, baby girl! The brilliant comedy team that prescribed the most outrageous laughter tonic in years with Doctor in the House breaks new ground as that misadventurous medico finds himself uproariously afloat in the cause of duty. What are you doing with my daughter? I am going to tear you into little pieces and trample you into the carpet. I couldn't do that if I were you. Ah! I beg your pardon. From the first moment that I went aboard the SS Lotus to take over my duties as ship's doctor, I understood exactly what is meant by being all at sea. Delicacy forbids an apt description of my first impressions of a life on the ocean wave. Censorship forbids an apt description of our dear captain. I, I wonder, wonder if I could persuade you not to shake that too much. It's liable to... Don't tell me what to do with my own medicine. I've been taking it for years. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. <coughs> Get away from me. Leave me alone. Excuse me, that door shuts. Beware this sea dog, as the presence of his boss's gushing daughter on board his ship keeps him at boiling point. May I? May I drive it for a little? Drive it? After the trials of such a voyage, a trip ashore was an escape to paradise. Je ne sais pas, but I'm hoping that you do. Do you want me? Je ne sais pas, but your loving eyes seem to tell me that you want me to be true. Are you allergic to anything? Uh, ship's doctors, for example? Oh, I haven't noticed it. I had an assistant whose medical knowledge was limited to a somewhat unorthodox postgraduate course in anatomy. What we of the medical fraternity call athlete's foot. You fix it in a jiffy. Athlete's foot? I don't know any athletes. Some more of that stuff down. Well, I think that's sufficient. Put some more down. Balloon, Mr. Trail. Hello! And balloons to you, sir.